Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light something, 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 America, something. Look at this plethora of American snacks and treats. Uh, yes, I thought I'd do something a bit different today. I haven't done a taste test video for years. So I thought I'd do one today. Instead of a recipe, we're gonna try some American snacks and treats. And I bought all of this, 21 flipping quids worth, from a shop on Charles Street in Leicester called Hollywood Candy. Uh, yeah, flipping expensive. I mean, I got some of the cheaper stuff, but Christ. I think a bag of Cheetos was like four quid. £4.50. I mean, it's to be expected, isn't it? It's flipping import tax and all that. But let me just kind of bring you down a bit closer so you can see what we've got. So here we go. Here's our selection, our plethora of just some American snacks and treats. Got some drinks, got some Kool-Aid just there. Got this stuff called Arizona, what is it? Watermelon fruit juice cocktail. The flicking size of that. Massive. Some tackies, some blue ones. Some chocolate bars, we've got some Lay's, which we hear call Walkers. And then this thing here, which I'm gonna to save till last, it's a great big bloody pickle in a bag. Inside there is a pickle, I thought it was a joke, I thought it was a sweet. But no, it's actually a pickle. Zesty garlic flavor. That'll be interesting, won't it, boys and girls? Now look, before we dive into this, do the usual thing. Like, share, and subscribe, comment as well. But look, we've got some stuff to get through here, so we need to crack on. I'm gonna pour myself a beverage, I think. Is this fizzy? Oh, sounds like it is. Now this thing cost me like £2.50, but if you're buying it in America, apparently it's 99 cents, which will be the equivalent of what in pounds? I'm gonna go about 85, 90p probably. So yeah, so yeah, let's uh, pour some of this. It's quite viscous. It's got like a syrupy kind of texture to it. Well, from what I can see anyway. Smells very artificial, smells very sweet. And it says all natural flavour on, on the can. Let's give it a sip. It's not actually that fizzy. It's got a little bit of fizz, but I don't know if that's down to like transportation. Very, very sweet. Um, kind of tastes a bit like an energy drink, if I'm honest, but slightly flat. Um, it's okay. I'm not so sure as I'd buy it again. Not for two pounds. Fippin 50 anyway. It's quite refreshing, but I think after more than one of those, I feel quite sick. So out of five, I'm probably gonna give that a three. It's all right. Let's move on to something else. Uh, I'm gonna go with this, Turtles. Bring you in a bit closer so you can see. There we are, Turtles by a company called Demets. Original pecan, original caramel nut cluster. Give it a whirl. You can't have this. I don't think you can have any of this, to be honest, Mogs. No. Oh, okay, so it's like nothing like a turtle. It's just a lump. It could be just be that one, maybe. Are they supposed to look like turtles? Let me know in the comments, guys, because they don't look anything like a, a turtle. Does that look like a turtle to you? No, it's just a lump. It's got a very familiar smell. It does smell like chocolate, but something like a certain type of chocolate, maybe lint. So it might be quite good quality. Let's try it. Mm. Right off the bat, that's nice. Very sweet again, but that's, well, it's chocolate, isn't it? It's got caramel in there, got some nuts. I like them. I'm gonna give them a four and a half out of five. Here he is, here he is. People are asking if you had any of that salmon from my last video. You didn't though, because you're off on an adventure, weren't you? So you missed out disappeared for like three hours. Maybe we should review cat food together. Ew! Ew! What the f How would you like that? Adam eats Moggs' cat food. We can share it and you can do a taste test. Uh, right, what next? Let's go and try some of these. These are corn nuts. Corn nuts. I'm sure they're made by a well-known company actually. Kraft, Kraft Heinz Food Company, Chicago, Illinois. 60601. And what are these? These are, what? Crunchy corn kernels. Crunchy, are, are these like peanuts? Buddy, you can't have these. These aren't suitable for pets. We'll do, we'll do a cat food review together. 
All right. Can you get your bum out of my face, please? See what they smell like. They smell like sugar puffs. If you're British, you'll know exactly what that is. Sugar puffs are a cereal here. Just have a smell. You can't have them though. Sorry, buddy. I know this is teasing, but you have, you have just had your dinner. Tastes a bit like sugar puffs as well, but more savoury. It says on here there's 160 milligrams of sodium. Is that good? Is that okay? I mean, it says 7% DV. Is that like daily vitamin? allowance i don't know it's just got kind of like this corn toasted flavor a cross between popcorn and a peanut i guess they're all right they're very crunchy um, and i have this feeling that you'd have to be quite careful because you could smash a tooth on these quite easily i reckon yeah good nice little snack if you're sitting and watching the tv get some corn nuts and they're only 99p a bag so that's quite good but they're okay yeah i'll give them four out of five going well so far isn't it buddy you're properly in the way there buddy why don't you go here there you go let's go for another chocolate bar let's go for this this interested me it's a Cadbury's crispy crunch now Cadbury's used to be a British owned company and then Kraft Mondelez isn't it bought them out and in my view they ruined Cadbury's chocolate but this interested me because I've never seen one of these in the UK I think Cadbury's made this just purely for the American market. I could be wrong, if I am, if any of you Brits out there remember this from your childhood or you've seen them on the shelves not sold as an American product. H have we ever had these? And what is it? 48 grams candy, free on dice. What's free on dice? Oh, it's some of it's in French. So could this be Canadian? The ingredients, sugar, glucose syrup, peanuts, modified palm oil. There's that flipping palm oil, we shouldn't be doing that. Shouldn't be using it, should we? Modified milk ingredients, modified vegetable oil, black strap, and fancy molasses. <laughs> Ooh, fancy molasses. None of that common as muck molasses. We're using fancy molasses. Yeah, and a bunch of other stuff. Well, let's eat it. Okay, comes as a solid bar, like that. Mm. That is not Cadbury's chocolate. No. It smells cheap. Artificial, mm, not liking that, but let's have a look inside. Bring you up close so you can see. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Look, you can see inside. I thought it was a bit like a crunchy inside, but I don't think it is. It's uh, something else entirely. Let's give it a whirl. I tell you what, that's like that is like eating a piece of plywood coated in the cheapest Naffas chocolate going. Zero out of five. Crispy, cr I mean, do you ever eat that? Does anyone actually seriously like that? That's horrible. That's not Cadbury's chocolate for sure. No. Let's go for another savory. And then we'll move on to this Kool-Aid drink. So that's like, looks, looks like a Capri Sun, doesn't it? Have a Capri Sun, look. So let's dive into these little puppies. Lay's barbecue chips, potato chips. Well, we call them crisps. And Lay's is just the same as Walker's. They're the same company, but obviously in America, just have slightly different branding. It says best sold by end of Duluo. Duluo? Best sold by end of Duluo. What does Duluo mean? Look, Duluo. Jason Duluo? Oh girl, we notice your body. They smell just like um, our barbecue, Walker's. I think these are just gonna be the same. And I paid what for these? About £1.50 for that bag. Give them a go. Crisp, chip, whatever you want to call it. Let's get it in my face. No, they're different. They're very different. Immediately, right off the bat, these seem thinner and not as crunchy as Walker's. They're slightly softer. Again, I don't know if that's because they've traveled, but visually, I can see that they're thinner than Walker's. Flavor-wise, they're great. Got a nice smoky barbecue flavor. You know, some of these crisps that come out, like hot dog flavors and all cheeseburger flavor, and they taste nothing like it. But these ones, you can't go wrong. Sweet, smoky barbecue sauce. I'm gonna give those a five out of five. Right, on to Kool-Aid. This is quite a popular American drink, I believe. 
I think it normally comes in like a powdered form, if I'm right. And you kind of add water to it and sugar, and you sort of make your own, what we call a cordial. Is that right? Is that kind of what it is? I did see the packets of like powder there, but they're too expensive and they came in like massive boxes. So I've just got a single drink. This is Kool-Aid Retro Jammers. Purple Saurus Rex, artificially flavored drink. So I imagine, I imagine that's kind of aimed at kids, isn't it? With the, all the pictures and what have you. Got a wee little kind of dinosaur, is it? In some car, some grapes in his mouth. He says, oh yeah, oh yeah, can I have some Kool-Aid? And that's, and that's Mr. or Mrs. Kool-Aid. Oh no. Yeah. He wouldn't want to fall over, would he? Would that kill him? Because he just empty his, empty his body out of all his juice. I don't know, it's the important questions that we ask on this channel. If you tipped Mr. Kool-Aid over, would it kill him? Well, let's get the straw in. Come on, let's give this a taste. This is Kool-Aid, bud. That is sweet, that is sweet. Strong grape flavour. Again, it's, it's that artificially grape flavour, isn't it? It's, yeah. Oh, you got a bit of something stuck to your foot there, bud. It's refreshing. I think it's more refreshing than that watermelon thing. Can I film my video, please, buddy? I appreciate it. You wanna, do you wanna just start like, move that way a bit, maybe? Or are you just gonna hog the limelight? Uh, what next, what next? Oh, Henry. Now, I've had one of these before, many, 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 many years ago. I used to work, excuse me, I used to work in an independent DVD and music shop uh, way back in like 2009. And one of the things that we stocked for a while was American sweets. We didn't have much, it was mostly cereal and soft drinks, but we did have these. And I think I tried one, but I can't remember how it tasted, so we'll give it a go. Oh, it's made by Hershey's. Mm. I remember Hershey's, which is why I got that. I think I'm gonna remind myself how much I dislike Hershey's chocolate. All right, let's give it a go. Oh, I would say, if you live in the UK, that is basically a Snickers. That's basically what that is. Yeah, similar sort of flavor. But obviously the chocolate's different. But that was quite nice, a bit like a Snickers. Oh, Henry, you are so delicious. Yes, you are. I'm gonna give that four out of five, I think, definitely. Uh, let's move on to a savory again. I'm gonna have some more of this Kool-Aid. Cleanse my palate. Now, these are quite interesting. Blue crisps or chips. Hot chili pepper, artificially flavored tortilla chips. Blue heat. <clears throat> Uda Thunkip, blue crisps. New look, same intensity. Is it me or is it a bit dark? Well, it's getting darker and it's about, oh, it's flipping 10 to eight. Let's get a move on before it goes really dark. Then you won't be able to see me. Right, let's open them up. Let's have a look. Oh, they are blue as well. They actually are blue. Actual blue crisp tortilla chip. Let's have a go, let's have a bash. Kind of smells like wet dog. Oh, they've got a bit of kick to them. Well, by my standards anyway. They've got a kind of like a, a very sort of zesty, sharp, acidic flavour there. Um, almost like a lemony sort of flavour. And then you've got the heat. And then you've got a, it kind of tastes a bit like a Dorito, really, in the background. You've got that nice sort of tortilla flavour. But I quite like those. They've got a bit of kick to them though. Mm, but I really like that slightly sour taste that you get at the beginning. Mm. I could see me munching that entire bag off camera. I don't know if I could actually finish that bag because they're, they're quite spicy. Again, for my standards, but again, I'm gonna give those a four out of five. I really quite like them. It's all looking good so far. Apart from that flipping crappy crispy crunch, I've not had a real bad thing yet. There is time, there is time. That's that pickle, look. Wait till the end, and I'm trying that. Flipping giant pickle Rick in there. I'm Pickle Rick! 
It's a fat meaty one as well. It's like a great big, yeah. <laughs> okay, we've only really got sweets left and then that pickle, so we're having a sweet -a thon Baby Ruth. Baby Ruth, that's a classic, isn't it? I first heard of this chocolate bar from that show, The Goonies. Because it was Sloth, wasn't it? He loved Baby Ruth's. Baby Ruth, Baby Ruth, Baby Ruth. Sloth love chun. So, what is it? Dry roasted peanuts, rich caramel, and smooth nougat. Again, I imagine this is gonna be a bit like a Snickers as well then. Yeah, dry roasted peanuts. Not just any old peanut, dry roasted. Here we are. There it is. If you break it in half so you can have a look inside. There we are. That's what it looks like inside a baby Ruth. Smell. Uh, the chocolate don't smell that great, to be honest. Is it the same as flipping crappy crunch here? No, because it's not Cadbury's, is it? Uh, very strong smell of nuts. Let's give it a whirl. Um, hello, flavour. Don't really taste of anything. Let's see if just kind of cleanse my palate. We can really smell the nuts in it, but not that impressed with that, to be honest. Don't really taste it much. You can sort of taste the peanuts, but yeah, give that a two out of five. Two out of five. Sorry, baby Ruth, but you are gonna be put up for adoption. Butterfinger. Crispity, crunchity, peanut buttery. You see, this looks like it's smooth inside. I don't think it's gonna have chunks like the other. Uh, but yeah, here we are. This is what a butterfinger looks like. Smell, very strong smell of peanuts, right from the outset. Uh, I can't smell chocolate at all. Let's break it open so you can have a look inside. There we are, that's the inside of a Butterfinger. God, oh, it smells really strong of peanut. See, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm gonna like this because whilst I quite like peanuts, I'm, I have a problem with like peanut butter. Like Reese's Pieces, I don't like them. They're, they're too strong, they've got too much of a peanut sort of butter flavor. And I'm not, not keen. Let's give it a go. Let's try it. I could be wrong. Oh, oh. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. It's crunchy inside. I was expecting a soft center. Like a smooth sort of paste almost, fondant. But no, it's crispy. Again, a very kind of strong nutty flavor. But it's almost like that peanut butter type flavour, which I'm not a fan of. It's not horrible, but it's generally not something I would kind of pick off the shelf and eat. If you love peanut butter, you're going to love a butter finger. But for me, not so much. So I'm going to give that two out of ten. Two out of ten? Two out of five, even. Okay, we are almost at the penultimate giant freaking pickle rick here. But before we get to that, we're gonna go and try some Tootsie Roll. How is that? Like one bar. For some reason I thought these were like little individual sweets inside, but it feels like one solid, well, I don't know. Well, we'll flip and open it and find out, Adam. How about that? That's what we're going for, Tootsie Roll. I'm guessing this is a what, what is it? Toffee? Ingredients, sugar, corn syrup, palm oil, condensed skim milk, cocoa, whey, soy, artificial shites, lettuce to thin, artificial and natural flavours. So it's gonna be like a toffee, chocolatey thing, isn't it? Oh, okay, right, so it's sort of in segments, but not fully. You can see it's like, it's in little sections, but not cut through all the way. So I'm guessing that sort of means you can like pull off sections. Yeah, I kind of see now, I can't kind of twist it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it smells like kind of toffee. Go in. It's like toffee, but not good. It's like there's a weird flavour there I can't place. It's almost like a, slightly like coffee, but not coffee. Does that make any sense? No, because it doesn't make any sense, does it? Stupid boy. I, l I mean, I like toffees. You know, we have a brand of toffees here called Werther's Original. I love them. They're butter toffees and they're great. 
This just doesn't, I don't know, I, I don't like it anyway. But it's got a, a weird sort of flavour that I can't pinpoint. Tootsie roll, tootsie shite roll. I'm gonna give that one out, one out of five. Do you like tootsie rolls? I think these are quite popular in America, but I can't see why. They're not that great, for me anyway. But this sort of, it's all personal preference, isn't it? I mean, flipping crappy crunch here, that's gonna take some beating. But there is still room because we are now gonna move on to this. Freaking giant massive pickle rick in this bag. Who thought this was a good idea? Do you just, do you just snack on this? Do you just take this out and just walk along? <laughs> what do you do? Is it just like a thing on a hot summer's day? You're walking down the beach and you just go, do you know what I fancy? Do you know what I fancy? A giant pickle in a bag. You just like <laughs> Do people do that? Americans. Do you just do you just snack on this, yeah? Made by a company called Van Holtens. It's a kosher pickle, which is, I think that's uh, Jewish, isn't it? It's got to make sure that it's all proper and everything for the Jewish religion. There we are, look. There we are, let's get it open and eat it, because it's getting darker and darker and darker, which means the camera lighting in here is getting darker and darker, and will be in complete darkness if, if I don't crack on with this. Let's open this up. That <laughs> 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 uh, is like I've just opened a can of sealed acidic farts that's been left to fester for about 10 years. <laughs> this is going to be bad news, isn't it, folks? It's going to be bad news. I like pickles. I like them in my burgers. I like them on my hot dogs. Even in a salad, it's quite nice. But this, yes, come on, guys. What in seven layers of fresh hell is that? It's kind of a bit squidgy as well. Seriously, Americans, what do you do with this? Do you just snack on this, yeah? That's fine with everyone, is it? That's what we do now. We're, we're just going along, snacking on giant flipping fart pickles. That's what we're doing now. This is what the world has become. Shame on you. It smells, it does smell like farts. You know those really hot sulfurous farts that you sometimes get? They're kind of, they smell a bit burnt. That's, that's these, that's this. I've put it off too long now, let's just flip in and take a bite. Oh. Nope. Nope. Be right back. Be right back. Well, I said that Crappy Crunch here would take some beating. Pickle Rick there, definitely beat it. That is a minus. That is a minus one out of five. That was just awful. Like, I like pickles, don't get me wrong, but that, I don't know, it just, not, not good. I did not like that. Let me know in the comments. Do you guys like those flipping giant pickle things? Do you walk around and snack on those? I want to know. I've just realised as well, I've not tried the Hershey's yet, so I've got that to go through. Just a flipping Hershey's. Not my favourite. It's chocolate I don't really like. But I'm going to see if I can change my mind. See if, if, see if cookies and chocolate changes my mind. Kind of lost interest now, to be honest. That pickle, that pickle did me in. Again, that stinks. I don't know if it's because I've got crappy pickle juice on my hand, but yeah. Again, just smells like cheap chocolate. It's not as bad as the original, just the normal Hershey chocolate. I think the cookies in there just kind of helps it. It's just not good chocolate. Not in my opinion, anyway. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Hershey's anyway. So that's getting a two out of five. Flipping minus one on that pickle, though. 
It's either going to go one or two ways, wasn't it? Like, I was going to really like it, because I do like my pickles, or hate it. But yeah, that was not good. Not good at all. But there we go, look, we've done a taste test. We've tried some American sweets and snacks. But yeah, we've got some winners in there, some really good stuff. Takis were nice. Crisps. Some of the chocolate bars are good as well. I think my favourite chocolate bar, I think it was the O. Henry, wasn't it? That was one that was a bit like the Snickers. I did like the turtles, actually. They were quite nice. And some obvious not so good ones. Didn't like the Tootsie Rolls. Uh, didn't really like the Butterfinger. Crappy Crunch was crap. Hershey's not very good. But the crowning jewel was that pickle. Yeah, interesting one, something different. But all I can say is you've got some nice tasty stuff in America. But look, let me know in the comments. Did you like this video? Something different, something interesting. You know, it's kind of nice to do something different. And if you did enjoy it, let me know of other suggestions, other countries' foods that you want me to try. But anyway, enough waffling, I'm gonna love and leave you. Thanks again for watching, and do the usual thing, like, share, and subscribe. So yes, I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And bye for now.